But you're talking about decision making, you're concerned how the British, well not concerned, but you're happy that they lost. Yeah, right? I, I just know, think, think it's an interesting it talking point. I remember I like to go for the touch. You know, it, you've got it, you maul well, you scrum well, you take them. There's a reason, I feel there's a few factors that play. Why should we go for the maul and why for the three pointers? Remember, if you score the try, it's seven points if the kick is over. That's, that, we know that. What happens if you get the penalty and the kick is over straight away? It's a window of attack that you take away again and you're off. Now you've got to exit. As soon as you've got to exit and there's a mistake, they can go for points again. So if you were for me, if you want to suffocate a team, you, you eat them there. But they, you've got to make sure that the mall is... Have a look at this one now. It's in the, the score is, what, 10-3? They want to make it 17-3 now. That's the, 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 that's the card they put on the table. The box stopped them there. My argument there is, what would you guys, gentlemen, say again? Take the points. The score is 10-6. Do you take the points or do you go? It's a very interesting one. So this you one I would point the points. They scored a try. They scored a try. They got seven points by kicking for the corner. And they felt when they're down there, they could actually perhaps get another try from it. They would have scored another try if Curry hadn't been so stupid. And I'm sure we'll see the clip mm. of Curry getting ahead of the rest yeah. of his team playing players in offside position. Yeah. If he just stayed with, they, they got good momentum there. They, we were in a bit of difficulty. Had Curry not, just before halftime, eh? that was a crucial turning yeah. point. There's two turning points, the two-on-one so, and that one. Yeah. So it's again, you've got to look at the outcome. How good is your kicker? Is it, will he yeah. get it, the three-pointers, definitely. For me, even if he miss it, it's now 22 kickoff, we can counter-attack again. Mm. So there's so many variables that, that, that come into play. Uh, I just think you've got to mix it around a bit. You, if you just go, I find if you go and you score them all, try. I tell you now, the next time they stop you. They worked it out, they in I, quicker. I, I hardly ever see two in a row. I just, uh, top I, level. See, you also do your numbers and you realize, can this. So if, let's say, questioner, you playing Swiss, it's you, your team against the Crusaders. They haven't conceded a mauling try in three or four years. Good do, you go, do you go for the more? Mm. No, you kick for the points. You create scoreboard pressure. You force them to run from deep. You back your defensive structure. Next thing, there's a breakdown steal. Another penalty. You kick again. Until you're two or three scores ahead, then you can start going for the corner and all that. I think for a test match of this magnitude, this is a schoolboy error. But they say in close games, if, you, if, if you, they kick off at the halfway line again and you're playing or you're off again, the chances are good that, that, that you, if you exit, they attack again. So rather, shouldn't you patiently play until you get your seven? I know there's not the perfect answer, just a very... I've just seen too many teams mess this well, up. Well, they got how one many? try out of four efforts. Yeah. One. So they only had 25% success. Right? But Nick, how many t guy times have we sat in studio saying, why yeah. didn't these guys keep I've seen this yeah. so many times. Exactly. The right call is just to take the points. That's the safe option, go, the right option. To go even further... Guys, can I bring the bench on you? Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> I mean, I mean, let me just bring the bench on you. Know? <laughs> the bomb squad. I mean, we're going to be very quiet. What is your opinion <laughs> on, on this discussion? Swayze talks about decision making, building scoreboard pressure. On the other hand, I, I'm looking at it thinking, go for it, broke. Maybe that was the attitude mm. on the day. Mm. Well, what, do you, what do you guys make of it? This, this one, the second one, they should definitely have taken the points. There's no question. Going into half time, um, listen, our game plan is pretty simple. We were going to kick off. They were going to kick the box kick. We were going to field it. We were going to kick a box kick. Half time, you're up 13 uh, 6. Um, then there was one in the second half where Murray also went for the corner. It was a kick straight in front of the poles. Um, so you, you've got to wait up with the game plan. Yes, there are certain times you back yourself, but. In a test match, again, Shemi got it spot on, of this magnitude, you don't back that. And, and another thing that we, that you, and, and Nick was big, was big on that one, where's the momentum of the game? Now, at this stage, the momentum was actually not with the Lions. Um, they weren't going backward, but they not either went forward. It was so even up. Um, mm. We made a big mistake on that first driving. I think we anticipated a back ball. And we wanted to drive them from behind over the line. So we gave them enough time to sit. They were sit and we were, were gone. And they scored from there, you know. But on the other one, there was no way for them. Look, we better sit there. There's no way. So, so yeah, I, the momentum wasn't with them at that stage. Um, we will... But Peter, just I even oh, look at that. Target. You're the coach now. Good You're the work. coach. The next thing happens. The, 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 opening. Yeah, the, the next penalty happens. You just did that. You do it again. You think the, you know, we've got them now. Let's do it again.
So I think teams will also believe that, eh? Sorry? You've, you've, got, you've driven over once. True. Yeah, you kick a game, you As think it's our last game. Say they, they did score there, if, 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 uh, if Curry didn't stuff it up. One. If they did score there, it was 17-3. The All Blacks have a defensive policy against South Africa that you give the three points, you give a penalty away, you give another penalty away, you give a yellow card away rather than concede a try. Yeah. So you're not going to score many tries yeah. if they're prepared to cheat.